these terrifying videos we're watching right now have been going around recently showing many instances where people have started acting like zombies. What is happening to this woman right here? Why are these people standing like this in broad daylight? And how is this guy behaving like this in the middle of the street? People can be seen walking strangely, behaving in a manner that is as bizarre as it could get. The mysterious thing that is pushing these people to act like this has already taken over the city of Philadelphia. So much so that 90% of their illegal drug supply contains it. And this very dangerous substance is starting to spread in many other places. It was also detected in San Francisco, Los Angeles and New York City. So whatever it is, it is killing people. And before that, it zombifies them. Next thing you know, you wake up with these big ass holes all over you, sores in your legs. It literally seems like it is eating their flesh, taking over their human body and causing them to walk around with leg wounds, swollen hands, missing limbs. You'd see people kind of like walking around looking like animals when their knuckles are touching the ground. Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about xylosin, a sedative drug used on horses and cows, but is now being abused by humans. Turns out, people have been using this substance as a substitute for heroin. And they mix it with fentanyl. This deadly substance is being sold on the streets for a couple dollars per bag. And since it's not made for human use in the first place, it is not even regulated by the the FDA. Literally, this drug is out there, ready to produce more zombies on the streets. Let me remind you, fentanyl itself is so dangerous that one person dies due to its overdose every seven minutes. And it's such a disturbing trend that only in 2021 in the US, over 100 100,000 people have died because of drug overdose. How many more zombies are we ready to see walking on the streets before we take action? And in case anyone gets offended by the zombies framing, the reason why I do this is because after living in the US for a while and traveling there a few times, I've noticed this really interesting mentality in people and I myself have fallen victim to that. You see so many homeless people, you see people on the streets literally acting like zombies and you get used to it. There's millions of people in the US who have totally got used to people dying on the streets because they see them every single day and so the zombies idea ironically i feel like people nowadays are more interested in zombies in the movies the fictional characters than the actual real humans dying on the streets and this is not to say that the people from the us are bad or anything like that because i myself after living in places like la or new york i would go downstairs and at some point i would get used to people simply begging on the streets, being homeless, people literally with syringes around them. It is a part of the environment and the only people who can truly be blamed for that are the big pharma people who created this issue in the first place. And we need to do something about this because this is not the reality I would want my children to grow up in. Drug abuse, not just in the US, but anywhere in the world, is such an issue. And and when we see it unfolding in this really concerning way, we cannot stay silent about it. So, until the people in power solve the root of this problem, these half-humans, half-zombies will keep parading the streets, endlessly getting closer to death. 
Have you ever heard of a clothing store that exists to help people and not make profits? Well, you have to visit our store, honesty.global. A unique humanitarian clothing where you get to choose who you want to help while buying amazing high quality clothes. It took us two years to set up this store and I cannot express how proud I am of the designs, the quality and most importantly the fact that you can shop with purpose. If you appreciate what we do, please support our charity work by visiting honesty.global.